Howdy folks, how are you going? Yes, the Meteor 75 with inbuilt ELRS. A little bit windy, but I think it's going to be fine. I'm going to be testing out my new Vita FPV Lite Radio 3, fully equipped with some silicon gimbal protectors and the much anticipated Beta FPV Lite Radio 3 ELRS. This is actually the ELRS radio. However, I have put the external module on so that we have a little bit more power. This is boosting uh, 500 milliwatts. So that should be really cool. I don't think we're gonna have an issue with range. I do know this is an indoor whoop, but as you can see, I've got a large oval area here. I'm just gonna show you, you guys how well the Meteor 75 flies outdoors. 350 milliwatt VTX, nice little radio. Let's go for a test. Let's see how the tune is. And hopefully we won't get blown away. Just done a review of this, so check it out. It's up on the screen there. Uh, a full review and setup of the external module. And of course, any comments, let me know guys. Okay, let's get flying. Okay, there's a double beep, which means we are connected. Make sure my goggles are recording. 350 milliwatts, and this radio has a, has a really nice feel to it, so you can get used to those sticks really quickly. Try and take it easy, I'm just gonna do a full lap of the oval here see if we have any breakup or anything like that. I'm pretty sure we're not going to because this little walk, as I said, has fantastic VTX for outdoor flying. As you can see, I'm halfway around the oval now and I am gonna battle the wind a bit here. I had a tailwind heading down, now I've got a bit of a headwind. Okay, no, it's all good though. And we're going to blast through this battery real quick. So as you can see, folks, more than capable of flying this thing outdoors. And I really pushed the wind there, folks. That's why I had a little bit of trouble heading back. Yeah, doesn't like the wind. Yeah, I am fighting the wind. The thing I love about these whoops is the enclosed props. So if you do try and go <laughs> through something really tight, <laughs> let's get down low out of the wind. If you do try and go through something really tight, and you hit uh... oh, hello, and you hit the uh, object you're trying to fly through. Well, luckily you're not going to do too much damage. That was a pretty average shot at flying through there, so I will do it again properly. Oh, it's really windy, folks. There we go. Not to worry. Yellow battery. I'm not surprised. Let's drop it down and put another battery in, shall we? a little bit windy guys so that's you can see the wind that I'm fighting you can hear it so it actually did really really well I have put another battery in I might just keep it low and scoot around the club rooms over there and bring it back otherwise we could be in trouble <laughs> yeah. as you can see I am flying with the wind on my tail Hopefully uh, I can get a little bit of shelter from the club rooms so we can have a bit of a fly around and show you guys how this thing handles uh, yeah, when there's no wind around. A little bit of a double beep, not too sure what that was about. Yeah, 
Let's see if I can. Oh, it's fighting the wind. Sorry, guys, she's a bit sketchy. Let's see if I can slowly make my way through. Oh, which way is it going to land? Oh, <laughs> that was quite dodgy. I'm not too sure what happened there. Alright. Actually, I do know what happened there. I, I crashed. Yeah. I was going to try and go through the walkway there, but it's just too windy, guys. It's just too windy. I think uh, I better head back. I can't be bothered walking over there to rescue her. Uh, yeah. Outdoors unit absolutely could do uh, with a little less wind. But it's a good way to drain your 1S450 real quick. Let's see how the VTX handles a bit of rear end flight. So I'm completely facing the wrong direction now. See how much break up we get. I'm expecting to get a little bit of break up. Yeah, not too bad at all, quite manageable. Uh, that beeping is my um, light radio 3 battery getting a bit low. Okay, low battery, time to land. Good fight guys, as you can see it is a bit windy. Uh, yeah, the light radio 3, no problem at all, as I expected. It is really nice on the 6. Um, linked up with this medial, so uh, the tune on this is really good. Uh, I'm going to take some other more adventurous quads out, which are ELRS fitted, and see how they perform. Drop us a comment, thumbs up, links down below. Any questions? See you next time. Skypilot, for now.